Hey, how's it going folks? ET here with another tutorial. Today's tutorial is how to import media into Windows Movie Maker. And there's about three ways to do it. So when you first open up Windows Movie Maker, you'll see an, there's an icon right here in the, in the play video play area. You'll also notice the same icon over here in the, I guess you call it the ribbon here. So those are the two ways you can import it. And then we'll show you another way in a second, but let's go ahead and do that. So clicking on this icon, it'll give you the option to actually choose where the files are. So mine are on the desktop in the import media folder. So I'm going to go ahead and click one and then click open. That'll open that one video file in the timeline here. So let's add another one here by clicking on the icon in the ribbon up top. So let's select the back side of the Nissan Skyline GTR, R32 variant. So now we have two video clips here. You can actually import images the same exact way. So click on that button there. And this image here of this 350Z or 370Z, I forgot which one. And it'll drop it into the movie timeline. And again, you can move it around as you need to. But we'll just throw it on the end here. So there's one more way you can add video or images or audio for that matter. And that's to actually drag and drop them into the video timeline area. So let me find that folder and double click to open it up. And let me shrink it so we can maneuver here a little bit. So if I want to add one more video clip, you can left click and hold and drag it into the playhead area here. Okay, so now we've added one, two, three video clips and one image. Next, I want to show you how to add some music. So what you want to do is put the scrubber exactly where you want the audio to start. Put that at the beginning. We're going to click add music. We're going to add from add music from the PC. We're going to click on the clip here. We're going to click open and it's going to drop it there and extend it the length of the clip itself until the end of the music file, of course. Okay, and you can actually left click and hold and kind of drag this file around too to make the starting point a little bit different. And that's kind of a way to customize it a little bit. But you'll notice when you're left clicking and dragging, there's a line that appears that kind of shows you where it actually is going to end up being. So let's put it at the beginning again. There you go. And again, let me click on the audio file here and delete. You can also just drag it in and that line will appear as well. You'll notice I'm still holding the left mouse button down and we can actually plop it wherever we want. Like let's put it halfway right here and it'll drop it the rest of the way and then end at the end of the video there. Pretty straightforward, wouldn't you say? All right, those are the several ways you can actually add media to your movie project in Windows Movie Maker. I want to thank everybody for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and check out all the other videos and tutorials I do on my channel. There are a plenty. This is only the second Windows Movie Maker, but I'm actually going to finish out the whole set and show you pretty much everything you can do in Windows Movie Maker. Alrighty then, thanks for watching, and don't forget, peace and aloha.